Mr President, good morning. Thank you. I feel, listening to what's being said this morning, that the European Parliament is once again indulging in its favourite sport and pastime, that of navel-gazing. Because all we're really discussing are the minutiae of inter-institutional um, agreements, or perhaps at this stage one should say disagreements, but are we addressing the real issues of the European Union budget? Is anybody prepared to really talk about the fact that the auditors have refused to sign off the accounts for 11 years in a row. And does anybody here want to have a bet with me that it won't be 12 years in a row, and perhaps 13, or perhaps 14? I mean, the whole thing is fatally flawed, isn't it? We have a, a budget system that is overly complicated, but my question is, do we need a budget at all? Well, 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 you see, I mean, Mr Blair, Mr Blair, having collapsed in the negotiations, having been totally outwitted, outclassed and outplayed by President Chirac, has signed a really rather bad deal for the British taxpayer. And now a majority of British people are saying, why are we paying £39 million a day into an organisation who can't sign off their own accounts, and why should British taxpayers be helping to build a new underground system in Warsaw, new sewers in Budapest. Why are we paying all this money to a group of countries that sell us, that sell us far more than we sell them? I mean, surely to subsidise your economic competitors is the economics of the madhouse. I mean, nobody sensible would indulge in it. So it isn't going to be very long, Mr. President, before the British are not going to be paying any money into the European Union. I know you've benefited, all of you, for the last 30 years, but I apologise in advance. There will be no British cheque coming to any of you within a few years, but we have enjoyed ourselves whilst we've been here. Thank you. Bye-bye. Cheerio. Bye-bye. Mr. Schultz, please. Show respect. Show respect for the ideas of Mr. Farage. You are not, uh, you don't have the floor, Mr. Schultz. You don't have the floor. Everybody has a right to express their own opinions. Mr. Farage, please. Now, Mr. Martinez, for los diputados no inscritos.